Hey guys, good morning. It's Callie. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a great week. I'm coming to you from my brand new Galaxy phone. Uh, this is the first time I'm recording on it, so I hope it's coming out all right. I'm excited. Uh, my last one, it was just time for an update, so it's really good. And let me see, a lot's been going on this week, although I really haven't been doing a lot of art. Um, I've still been making bracelets and I did some sewing. I did pull out the sewing machine and I promise that I will be doing a few sewing tutorials for you guys. Um, I don't know. I just needed a break last week. It seemed like there was a lot going on the previous week and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, um, it's a beautiful day today. We're going to go to a wedding this afternoon, so I'm excited about that. Uh, last time I saw you guys, I told you that Tom was upstate uh, visiting with his mom, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Um, and they got to see the studio tour while they were up there, and that worked out great. So I was really happy about that. And um, it must have been a mom theme last week because I also got to see my mom. My sister and I went and went out to lunch, and we had a really great time. We went to a really cool, like, coffee house, kind of funky uh, restaurant and just had a good day catching up and brought home a whole bunch of black-eyed Susie's and my mom's an avid gardener um, I think that's where I kind of obviously get it from a little bit and uh, my sister was gathering things to plant and um, I don't really have place to plant outside here um, but I use my deck for those of you who know uh, but anyway I don't have a lot of room to plant big flowers and stuff but that will come one day. I'm looking down at my notes here because I have a lot to talk to you guys about. Um, I think I mentioned last week that I was asked to do an ATC swap, my very first ATC, ATC swap. And I said yes. And um, her name is Tal Talashia, I believe. She goes by T. Hi, T. Um, she does not have a YouTube channel yet. But she sent me these. I asked if I could share these. And she said yes. And our theme was pentagrams. So she made these. Um, this one on the back says Breakaway. And these are all eggshells. And I love working with eggshells myself. It gives great texture. And I love the way it holds paints and dyes. So there's one. And T, I promise you this week I will be mailing out your cards as well. This one, which has this gorgeous, gorgeous charm on top, uh, is called Pure Love. And it's gorgeous. And for those of you who don't know, the pentagram symbol is the path that the planet Venus travels in the sky, makes the symbol of the pentagram. Um, it's as old as ancient, ancient history and life itself. It's a beautiful symbol. And if you don't know anything about it, you should do some research because a lot of people attribute it to evil, and it's not. Uh, it represents the four elements, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. And it's a loving symbol and a symbol of unity and many, many things. So if you don't know anything about it, don't be scared. It's all good. It's all about love. And check it out. So, uh, and this last one is kind of funny. It says, I'm not crazy. My reality is just different from yours. And on the back it says, so those are from T, and thank you, T, so much, and shout out to you, my love, and I would give you a link to your channel, but you don't have one yet. You do have an Instagram, though. Um, let's see. I'm going to say your Instagram here uh, is T Lee 80 T-E-E-L-E-E-80. -E 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 so follow T on Instagram if you would like. I'm so blessed to be, you know, meeting new friends just people approaching me because of art and you know it's such a great way to communicate um, or at least open the door initially and uh, loving it still been skyping with my gypsy girl uh, so we will continue to bring you guys installments uh, on the 15th of every month the gypsy and the witch so that's been exciting and lots of great feedback came out of that so um, we're just excited to keep bringing you guys um, new pages and we've already decided on our September theme if you will we're both not really theme girls but we're kind of keeping it so we're both you know at least working in the same you know realm 
Um, so that's exciting. And there's also some new developments maybe happening. You never know what's going on around here. I know um, I really enjoyed looking at everybody's videos this weekend from Pogist, hashtag Pogist Art, um, the group Creative Arts Collaboration on Facebook, and all the YouTube creators that are in that group. Um, I chose to sit out this month, but I was on the sidelines cheering everybody on and watching all the videos. And so if you have not yet, check that out. Although I don't know how you could have missed it. Um, please, you know, search hashtag Pogist Art. And um, obviously it's an animal themed of all media types and all creators from all different realms. And it's just so cool to be meeting all these new people and checking out all this amazing new art. So, uh, and speaking of new art too, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, B Operanto again. B is the one who sent me that amazing happy mail last week with uh, the hair looking at the moon, Dylan looking at the moon, and Saxo. Um, her channel or um, page name, if you will, is Puff of Smoke. She did um, start her YouTube channel with the name B Operanto, and I will link her below. And she did do uh, some videos this week. And so that was super exciting. So way to go, B. Hurrah, hurrah. Um, and what else we got going on? Let's see. I'm going to dive in. I have a little bit of a tiny little like Walmart dollar store haul. And we did go to the auction last night. So that's cool. Um, I'm going to just show you what I worked on this week. Um, I told you I've still been doing bracelets, which I haven't stopped. And... It, they're just sparking my, I wanted, there's so much I want to do, you know, and I think I shared with you guys that I thought it would be cool to make some dream catchers or hanging mobiles and things. And I did do one and I am going to do a video this week, um, just with a few different variations, but this was so simple, but I made this little hanging and I, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you've seen this. Um, this is one of the bracelets. Okay. And I just hung ribbon and then did some simple knots between the ribbons. Um, you, could, you could just hang them without doing the knots if you want. But I will do a quick video just to kind of show you guys. And then this is just a keychain ring with some beads hung here. Um, you can use, you know, obviously whatever kind of ribbon you want. I did these and I have this hanging in front of my um, sliding glass doors and when the breeze catches it, it's just beautiful. So I want to make some more of these, um, different variations I told you and I will be this week, that's one of the videos that I will be putting out to you uh, on my brownie honor. So there's that and I saw another video by Mark Montano and he commented on one of my videos so I had like a fangirl moment. I was like, oh my god. I love you, which I do. And if you haven't, again, if you're living under a rock and you haven't checked out Mark Montano's channel yet, check him out. Um, he's amazing. So anyway, what else? So the, the bracelets, the wind chime thing, and then also on Facebook, I think you guys saw, I'll put this on. I did make a new, I told you I took out my sewing machine. I made a new apron. Uh, I'm in my wheelchair. Let me back up. How much can I back up when you guys still see me? Okay, here's my apron. And it's just made out of a old pair of jeans. I don't have a tie in the back. It's just loose, um, which is fine because it's big enough to lay over my lap. And then the front of it uh, was an old pair of Levi's that I had for years and years. And then I just sewed in the in the legs. I added that piece of denim. It's reversible. I just added some fabric. I'm going to choke myself. Ugh. Fabric on the back. And this is some old trim that I had laying around. Um, and I just put some ribbon on the back of it. And these buttons, the purple buttons I had, but the buttons underneath I just got from Tom's mom sent back um, a bag full of thread and sewing notions and needles and some buttons and you know that's like the way to my heart so kitty I put your buttons on my new apron and then I added a pocket in the front because I think that's you know you can't have enough pockets and these have you know obviously the two pockets there so 
super simple. I did not use a pattern. I just kind of eyeballed everything, cut it out. Again, I lined it and I will use this all the time because I'm constantly getting paint and everything all over my clothing, as I'm sure you guys do too. And let me give a shout out to inspiration. Number one, my sister, because she, my sister Sue, um, we were talking about making aprons out of jeans a year ago. And so thank you, Sue. And then recently, Gina Aarons and Secret Soto have made variations of a denim kind of an apron. So thank you girls for that inspiration. And again, you guys must have scraps laying around. This was super simple. Um, so that was fun. And then let me see, I did, uh, I'm going to try not to knock the camera over because you know, you're balanced on some boxes right now. Uh, la 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 la. Oh, I also wanted to give this week a big, big shout out to Kara and Nana number three. I saw your video of the unboxing of your prize for me. And, um, and I'm sorry that the glass broke in the frame. Wreck em, smack em, wreck em, smack em. Uh, what are you going to do? Pull it out and you know, it's as good as new, but don't cut yourself. But anyway, Kara, um, I had challenged her to do a, when I showed my, uh, hair wraps, my hippy dippy hair wraps, which I apologize because apparently someone took offense at the term hippy dippy and I only mean it with love and as a term of endearment. So I did not mean to be insulting to anyone. So anyway, I gave a shout out to Kara and it challenged her to do a hippy dippy hair wrap and she did in fact do one. So I'm going to link that video below. And she's so freaking entertaining. And um, Tom and I were watching you, Kara, and he just thinks you're wonderful, and uh, as I do, of course. And we were dying. And your recent fairy video and all that stuff, these memories that you're creating with your Nana are just priceless. And I so look forward to watching your journey um, as you, you know, continue to grow into an amazing young woman and uh, your art that you're sharing. So thumbs up to, to Kara and thumbs up to all young artists and all, you know, it's so cool if you have an opportunity to encourage a young person or to um, be privy to watching them uh, develop. So that's so cool. So anyway, thank you, Kara. And you know what, honey, you've inspired me this week. Also, in addition to the boho uh, wind chimes, I am going to redo uh, the last time I did that hair wrap was probably 15 years ago. So I'm going to make some fresh ones, and I also have some um, ideas for a different type of hippie kind of thing. So I want to do that this week. I'm ambitious for this week. Lots of filming, I think, going to go on. So anyway, I think that was it for my shout-outs. And, and, you know, of course, all of you guys who I freaking love so much, you're amazing. Um, let me jump in and stop rambling. I'm going to show you just, I don't even know why I saved this, but I know people like to look at hauls, and this is not a haul by any means, but I'm going to show you, um, I actually did go to Walmart this week, which never happens. And, um, I'll show you, I went to Walmart and the Dollar Tree. Walmart, I don't think, what did I get? Oh, I wanted to get some wire. I needed to get some more wire for the, uh, for the bracelets, which has been cool. So I just picked up some cheap craft wire, some silver craft wire. The other wire that I had used um, in my bracelets was actually sterling silver, and that gets super expensive, and I don't really think it's needed in the boho bracelets. I, you know, otherwise it just gets too costly to make. So I'm going to just try out some silver craft wire from Walmart, and I also got some um, natural lacing, which I will be using um, in one of the videos that I was telling you about. And what else did I get from Walmart? This looks like, oh, you can never have enough E6000. And I made sure this time um, that I did not get the white. Make sure you look because it comes in white, black, um, and it makes a difference when it dries. So I got the clear. I can't live without that stuff. I use that all the time as well as, of course, Aileen's Tacky Cloak. Who doesn't use Aileen's? And this is random. My Ester C, uh, vitamin C. Um, I'm not too crazy with my vitamin supplements, but I do daily take, um, if anybody cares, a multivitamin, uh, vitamin C, biotin, uh, folic acid, mm, glucosamine, which is amazing for your joints. Um, I swear by it. 
I'm getting old and arthritic and it really, excuse me, helps. Uh, I said multivitamin, right? I think that's it. Glucosamine, vitamin C, folic acid, multivitamin, biotin, and yeah. So anyway, take your vitamins. And also, um, you guys saw, I did a master cleanse in May, which was like my fourth one. Um, and I am ready, I think in September, almost positive, that I'm going to do a juice cleanse for, I don't know, maybe a month. And then I'm hoping to segue into, right now I'm 100% vegetarian and I eat very, very little dairy, but I'm hoping to, seg my plan is to segue into a 100% vegan diet. So I'm hoping that this juice fast will help with that. So stay tuned for that. And I'll do separate videos on that if anybody wants to follow along or not. And then I think that was it from Walmart. Tom got a few things. And then we went to the Dollar Tree and I, oh no, I also at Walmart, like I needed more beads, which I don't, but these were like on clearance. I think they were like $2 or something. So I'm going to also use these in one of the projects that I was talking about doing this week. So those came from Walmart and I think there was one other, oh, two other things. I got some more metal beads, little spacers. I love these silver kind of Indian-ish looking. Um, I got a pack of these, which is probably not thrifty at all, um, but I just wanted to grab them because I do, I am going to be making some ATCs this week, but these are assorted trade, artist trading cards. So it's just different uh, media. It's like watercolor media, mixed media paper, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, again, not the thriftiest way to go, but I think they were like $2 or something. I'm going to try them out. And one more thing from Walmart. I think I got another pack of beads. Yeah, again, these were on clearance. And I just thought they were cool little charms. Peace signs and hearts. Clearance. If you got to go to Walmart. Okay, so then we went to the Dollar Tree, and my main reason for going was to pick up more of the wire that I use for under the bracelets. I showed you guys, and I'm really enjoying it. So it's this floral wire, and I got a lot of these. So this is a dollar piece for six feet, so two yards. I got two, three, four, five, I'm dropping stuff, six, seven, eight. Nine. All right, I got nine of those. And a couple of them are red, which doesn't matter at all because we're covering it up. Okay, and also, you guys, I am not a Tinkerbell fan. I'm not a Disney princess girl. Um, but this was, this is a 2016 calendar, and I definitely am going to... Um, be using the pages to alter. So I do love fairies. I'm just not necessarily a Tinkerbell fan, but I thought this would be good to use in mixed media, and I like the backgrounds and things like that. So I'm sure you'll be seeing some of this in some of my art. For a dollar, how can you go wrong? I grabbed a pack of uh, blank note cards and I need to um, send out some thank yous this week uh, for some lovely happy mail and things like that. So I'm not a card girl. I love mixed media. I love all things art. But when it comes down to card making, it's just not something I do. So I always find myself, like if I'm going to send out happy mail or something at the last minute, like quickly writing something and spritzing it or something. So... Anyway, I could get better at that, but it's just not something I feel called to. But I totally admire people who do it. Random. Uh, I got these, which I'm sure are crap, but I want to believe that they might be okay. Um, these are from the dollar store. So they're correction pens, which is, you know, means they have like white, white out fluid inside. But I like the metal nub at the top, and I'm hopeful... You know, obviously, I'm sure they're not going to compare to my Signo gel pen, but I'll let you know how these work, because if they do, two for a buck, you can't beat it. And then last but not least, and I almost wore these last night, but I wanted to keep them to show you guys. Um, I have a pair of black Converse sneakers, and um, not an athlete <laughs> at all, uh, but they were crying out for these, don't you think? 
So I have new purple shoelaces for my black Converse. And um, yeah, so that's fun. Okay, so that was it for Walmart and the Dollar Tree. And then we went to the auction. And it was hot and it was crowded and I'm not going to bitch about it. We didn't get a lot. Um, again, it's more of a social thing at this point. Great to see everybody. And I think I said at the beginning of the, the video that I'm going to a wedding today. Um, we've met Larry and David, the groom and the groom, uh, at the auction. Um, it's going on two years now. And they've been together forever, like over 40 years. And they are finally able to get married. And we're going to the wedding today. So I'm super excited to get ready and go be a part of that and have a great day. Um, Patty's going to be there. Kat's going to be there. Patty's going to be singing. And so that's going to be amazing. So anyway, uh, we got to catch up with everybody last night and I only got a few things. Um, no rent, no order. Um, this looked promising from a distance, but I assure you, I don't know. I will keep this it's comic books. Um, I will keep this first one here. Um, this is from 1963 adventure comic. Featuring the fake Superboy from Krypton. These are Superman comics. 12 cents. Um, look at this, you guys. And for those of you who grew up with these, you remember 100 toy soldiers for, you know, complete with a real footlocker. And uh, the back of the comic book, you know, I used to order sea monkeys all the time and things like that. So, um, but anyway, this is genuine, 1963, you know. Uh, so I, I won't be altering that. I don't collect these. I have no idea what this particular one is worth, if anything. Um, but it's funny. I told you guys when I lived in Bethel, New York, uh, across from the Woodstock site. And when we moved into the house, it was packed with the previous owner's belongings. who had never cleaned them out and blah, blah, blah. And up in the attic there, we found boxes and boxes of comic books, like sealed. And I didn't keep them you know I contacted the previous owners to let them know but I remember my son was like mom take those you know but so I know people what was that segue about I, I know people collect them and it might be worth money so who knows I'll put that aside but then there were these other ones and I don't know these are the magnet so I don't know if this was a local newspaper or a local um comic or what but here's a whole stack of them and these are just, these are great as far as, you know, look at this. Boys, they're free. Foreign and colonial stamps now in all packets of turf Virginia cigarettes. Tell dad to smoke turf. Oh, yeah. So these are just cool old, you know, look at this old paper, you guys. And I know I should probably just set these aside. They're just great. They smell old, but I will be altering some of these. Um, my gosh. Wrigley's keeps you on your toes till the final whistle blows. Look at these old ads. So I may just check out online to see if these are worth anything. I'm sure they're not. Oh my gosh. 1930. 1930, you guys. So these are cool. 1937, the paper for manly boys. Look at that. I'm loving this. And on the back, there's all these ads. You can be taller. Be taller. Be tall. Look at this. Everybody wanted to be tall, apparently. You know, now it's be slim, be slim. Be who you're not so we can sell you crap that you don't need and make you feel insecure about yourself so you constantly have to come back and buy our crap, which isn't going to make you feel good anyway. It's been going on forever. Forever, boys and girls. Don't believe the hype. You're perfect the way you are. Anyway, so that's that. So that was cool. And then Tom got a box of various tin toys, like old toys, and there was like a rocket ship and things like that. And there were a few things that he didn't care to have and that I'll run by the grandkids and see if they want. But I don't particularly want these things. But they did come in the box, so I'll show you. One is a nutcracker. Um, this is not tin, obviously. He's wood. But 
I'm sure one of the grandkids will get a kick out of that. All right, I'll keep it around, clean them up. Um, I don't hate them. I'm not big on uh, Christmas ornaments or the standard uh, decor, but he's kind of cool. I like his beard, so we'll see. Uh, here's an old tin horn. And these are old, you know, these are authentically old. Um, complete with cobwebs. I would blow it, but I'm afraid. Should I? I'm going to go for it. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, mm-hmm. The thing I like the best, you guys, that I wanted in the box and I got is this guy. Look at him. He's metal. I love him. Hello with the springs. Didn't you guys have something similar? And look at the wheels on the bottom. So, you know, that sound. Oh, yeah, I probably just broke it. It's like ancient. So anyway, love the snail. Grandma will keep that one, but I'll let them play with it. Been around the block for sure. Made in China. Okay, and then also in that box was just a random little Christmas top. Uh, you know? Oh, look at me. I'm talented. Wee! Okay, and then also in the box was an assortment of random old ancient flashlights. Have no idea if they work. Doesn't look promising. But you know what? I'll give it a whirl, especially this guy. It's an old metal one. He looks kind of cool. They're all metal, but like this guy looks pretty, you know. Anyway, these might be cool as long as they're not made out of lead. Uh, these might be cool for the kitties to play with as well. I may just throw them out. One never knows. Oh, wait, here's another teeny tiny one. This is kind of cute. So, random flashlights. You never know what you'll find in a dollar box at the auction. I bought this box that I'm going to show you now, and it had um, glasses in it, like drinking glasses with topless women. Woo! as well as a sealed bottle of Coca-Cola with a Yankees label on it. And the people who are sitting in front of us, Mary and Eagle, um, own a store and they constantly buy every week. So I just leaned over the seat and handed them the glasses and the Coke bottle because I have no need for any of this stuff. And I'm not going to research to see if it's worth any money, which might be foolish, but it's just not my thing right now. But anyway, so I got this. Caddy, which is wood, and it's like you know, a wooden caddy, which I freaking love. I didn't even see this. Oh, it's a shop sample on it. That's cool. <laughs> so, this wooden caddy, which I will use either for art supplies or gardening supplies or something, I love it. And then, in addition to the naked women glasses and the Coke bottle was this, which I love. And these are brass bells from India. And they're a little beat up on the bottom, but I will most likely restring them. And they're beautiful. Each one is slightly unique. And I love this kind of stuff, you guys. So there's that. You know, it's like door beads, doorbells almost. Doorbells. Okay, and then just two more things from the auction, and I think that may be it, if you can believe it. This came with the comic books, and these are from, they're dated 1937, and it's three different girls' names on these paintings, but they all have the same last name, so maybe they were sisters in an art class. Or something I don't know but this is oh this is dated 1930 and this is Lizzie Sinclair and one of them says 14 years old so these are beautiful you guys look at this and they're like ink drawings so this is one and they're just you know rolled up on this tattered paper look at that so this is Lizzie Sinclair and then, that says Liz.
Lizzie, and this says Elizabeth. I'm assuming this is the same girl. Aren't they beautiful? I'm just so inspired. And then this last one says Jenny Sinclair, age 14. And it's just beautiful. Isn't that great? So, you know, I won't be using these, like, framing them or anything, but I don't know what I'll use them for. It's like you don't want to cut them up or destroy them, but I don't want them just sitting in a corner of my closet either. Okay, the last thing I got at the auction, which is super cool, which is broken, um, but I just mentioned Eagle and Mary, who own the store. Eagle told me that he, if I measure this, that he may have a shade that'll fit it. So, look, this is an authentic railroad lantern. Okay, you know I love lanterns, you guys, and I'll show you where it's broken. See that piece right here? So that's missing. So he's telling me that he has a replacement shade. And this one is red. I don't know how good you can see that. But it is red. Um, authentic rust. <clears throat> I love it. Love it. I am a lantern fan. As I know a lot of you are. Is that it? That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're at 31 minutes here, which is about, you know, how I run. So I hope you guys are having a great, great uh, day. And uh, thanks for sticking around. And I look forward to bringing you some videos this week for sure. And I hope you guys are having a great week. Thumbs up to all of you guys um, who are supporting me and encouraging and branching out and doing your own thing. Rock on, brothers and sisters, because you inspire me each and every day. And I'm so blessed to have you guys in my life. So I'm sending you a lot of love and a lot of blessings. And keep crafting and have a beautiful week. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon, okay? So take care. Bye-bye.